Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesushealsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read how, about how the poor people do not have to be poor anymore because Jesus has preached the gospel of prosperity to us all. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us turn to the book of Matthew chapter 5 in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of our Lord God Jehovah, Jesus Holy Spirit. Also Mark chapter 12 verse 41. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and looked how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that were rich cast in much. 42. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make half a cent. And Jesus called unto Jesus, Jesus' disciples, and said to them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast in more than all they which have cast into the treasury. 44. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but this poor widow of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. That means we have to trust Jesus at all times. If we have money, if we don't have money, our trust should be always in Jesus because our Lord God Jehovah Jireh is our provider for food, clothing and money here in this planet Earth. Also let's turn to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 10. We are always rejoicing as poor, yet making many rich by preaching the gospel of Jesus so that the poor do not have to be poor anymore. As having nothing and yet possessing all things in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Also, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For we all know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that though Jesus was very rich in heaven above, yet for our sakes Jesus came down to this planet earth to become poor, that we through your poverty Jesus have become rich. That word poverty also means that Jesus took our old sinful man. We were all in the bosom of Jesus when Jesus died, taking away our sins in Jesus' own body on the tree, the cross, and also in the tomb, and in hell below, Jesus took away our spiritual death three days and three nights. But on the third day, the glory and love of our Lord God Jehovah raised up Jesus from hell with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. And so now Jesus is at the right hand of our Lord God Jehovah, interceding and praying for us and listening to our prayers, especially when we ask according to the will of Jehovah. Jesus Holy Spirit. Whatever is here in this Bible is for us. So please keep reading your Bible and keep praying in tongues in the Holy Spirit. Also Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. But my God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit shall supply all our needs according to your riches, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, in glory by Christ Jesus. Verse 18, But I have all and abound, I am full, having the seed of Epaphroditus, the things which were sent from you, and odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. That was 18. And 19 says, After you have given, our Lord God, Jehovah, shall supply all our needs, according to Jesus' riches and glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my friend's website, Jesse Duplantis Ministries, my friend and partner in the Gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, www.jdm.org, also Christians United for Israel, www.cufi.org. Also, please visit my two websites, jesushealsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. Jesus provides for us all. 
always. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.